I'm very upset. I discovered a major water coolant leak into the engine block and it took me oh well I've been working on the engine for a month doing other work fixing whatever peripherals I could fix to determine whether or not the leak was coming from several other sources however I'm going to discuss with you six ways five plus one ways that oil can be contaminated with engine coolant and none of these ways only one of the six ways is discussed in any video anywhere that I have been able to discover. The other five methods not available to see in a video and certainly none of them are in, no two of them are in any single video. So I'm gonna discuss five ways that it can happen. First way is on a diesel engine and that's what we're talking about, there's a shaft that goes into the motor on some water pumps, only some, there's a shaft there's an o-ring between the shaft and the block that can leak water coolant into the engine oil that's method number one number two these bolts on some engines go through the block right into the crankcase if they're rusty if there's no sealant on the bolts water can go in to the block and oil can come into the engine coolant that's not the problem for me Number three, the water, the engine water cooler, water exchange cooler. This can have a leak. It's like a miniature radiator. That can leak, but it's not a high probability. And in my case, I'm gonna tell you how I know it's not that and how I do know what it is. That's the third method. The fourth method is there could be a head gasket leak. The head gasket leak in my case will not the case. It's not the problem. The head gasket leak will leak a minimum amount of oil, water into the oil, but only when the engine is running. That's not the problem for me either. The fifth method is a cracked block. However, with a cracked block, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have all the engine coolant from that big radiator over there is gonna try to go into the block into the crankcase that's not my problem only a certain amount of water is going into the engine oil only about three quarts two liters to three liters maybe so how do i know that that's my problem because i have asked every good diesel mechanic and each and every one came to the same conclusion and that's method number six and I'm going to discuss that with you now. What you have to do is you have to picture each piston has a sleeve around the piston. Each piston has a sleeve around the piston and between that sleeve and the engine block is an o-ring. So this is the engine block. Here is the engine block. This is the o-ring and this is the piston sleeve. If this o-ring is leaking at the bottom of the sleeve, whatever water is in this water jacket around the piston sleeve, whatever water is in that sleeve is gonna leak into the engine crankcase. How you tell is you shut the engine off and check the height of the oil on the dipstick. That's how you tell if that's the problem. You check the height of the oil on the dipstick when the engine is immediately shut off, like maybe 30 seconds later. And then you wait until the next morning. If the dipstick goes up a considerable amount, in my case, the dipstick went up almost three inches overnight, which means approximately a gallon of oil went into the motor. A gallon of water went into the crankcase. That means 99% probability that the sleeve o-rings or the o-ring around the sleeve between the sleeve and the block is are bad could be one could be two the engine probably overheated before i got the machine on this property and it probably overheated once while i was using it but not to any large degree and that was almost a year ago so it's it it could just be that the engine is just old and this the o-rings just from that small amount of overheating that I, I had 
in, in, incorporated into the life of the engine, they dry up like an old tire. So where we're at right now is I'm gonna have to pull the heads and go underneath and pull the bottom. Take the connecting rod, bearing caps off, mark the caps for the directions that they go, mark them one through six. Pull the connecting rods, push front and back on the connecting rods, mark them one through six. Pull the pistons, mark front and back, mark them one through six. Pull the sleeves, all six sleeves, I'm gonna have a tool made at a machine shop, mark those piston sleeves, mark them front and back, pull the sleeves out, get new o-rings put new o-rings in and while i'm at it i'm going to put new rings on the pistons and i'm going to put new bearings on the connecting rods this is not a good day for me because i didn't expect to have to do this but i'm obligated and now the machine is basically i can have as many hours use for the on the machine on the hobs time as necessary because i'm working that out with the owner but it's not the happy camper day for michael fazio so thanks for watching my videos and at least i have a nice place to work my next step is to drain the oil the water that's in the crankcase out and relocate this machine so that it it is not over these holes maybe not even on this site thanks for watching and have a great day It is a beautiful day in the Philippines. It's just not a happy camping day. Six methods that oil can leak into a diesel engine. And thanks for watching my engine rebuild videos.